The deorbiting of the ISS will in many ways be like the deorbiting of the Russian space station Mir. During its time, the Russian space station was the largest man-made object ever constructed in Earth's orbit. Its descended phase was done using a series of controlled burns and a carefully planned step-by-step -step approach. The space station was brought down using the Progress Cargo spacecraft and its thrusters, which were fired at precisely the right time. The space station only took a few short months of careful maneuvering mixed with orbital decay to sink into the atmosphere and to burn up and to break apart. And while taking the lessons learned from our Russian counterparts, along with careful planning, the ISS can also be deorbited in the same controlled manner using the SpaceX Dragon capsule with minimal risk to the Earth's surfaces below. SpaceX has plenty of precedents to follow and will develop a vehicle to push the ISS out of orbit after its operational extended life ends in 2030. In the same fashion as the Mir space station, the ISS will burn up as it falls through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. The remaining parts will fall safely into the ocean, hopefully thousands of miles away from any populated civilization.